The mental transformation required to overcome fear is achieved by focusing on what you will gain, not what you might lose. Fear magnifies the consequences of failure. Some people won't speak in public because they fear people will laugh at them, whisper while they're talking, or fall asleep. Maybe they will. Some people won't ask for help when they desperately need assistance with a project because the person they ask might say no and then send out an inner office memo telling everyone they're incompetent. That's possible, but unlikely. Fear always exaggerates our concerns if we allow it. Fear magnifies the consequences of failure. Am I advising you to be intrepid, totally without fear? No. I'm saying take fear in a healthy dose, or as my Shiro news anchor and cancer survivor, I need to go back to dose or fear, News? Yes, please. Or, as my Shiro news anchor and cancer survivor, Robin Roberts says, when fear knocks, let faith answer. An emergency exit or plan B should accompany even great faith because wise women prepare for adverse results. Too much fear paralyzes you into having no plan at all, A or B. Successful people dwell on the possibilities, while others stubbornly obsess over the uncertainties of life. If you want to be better, you have to do more, and that means being uncomfortable not a little bit, not some, but most of the time. That means taking risks. That means doing many boring, horrid, difficult things you don't really want to do and doing them well. Yes, you will make mistakes, don't become preoccupied with your failures. Learn the lessons of your mistakes, make corrections, and move on with life. Look forward. Your future is not in the past. When you find yourself wanting to give up, wanting to quit, ask yourself this question. Why am I doing this? What is my goal? Then do what you have to do to get where you want to go. Stop worrying about your personal paparazzi, your friends and distant relatives who see snapshots of your life but don't really understand you. Don't fear their two-dimensional average opinion of your multi-dimensional exceptional aspirations. Remember your purpose. I cannot emphasize this enough. Move in the direction of your goals and only in that direction. Don't let others' negative opinions determine your value. No one can put a price on you. You're worth what you believe you're worth. Do you know the definition of a slave? There was a time when African slaves were considered to be three-fifths of a person. Some people still think of women in that way, or there would not be a statistically proven gender-based wage disparity for doing the same work in many industries. When most Americans think of slavery, they think of shackles and the 11 million Africans who survived the journey to the New World in the filthy, dark bellies of massive ships. They think of cotton plantations, the Underground Railroad, and the Civil War. That is a poignant but narrow definition of slavery. Those are we having fun yet. That's me recording a little bit of uh, my audio book. Been in the studio for several sessions, we go about two hours at a time and record uh, chapters from my latest book, Success is a Side Effect, Leadership Relationships and Selective Amnesia. I hope you'll pick up a copy or get the audio book when it's released later this year. You see the mistakes and all. This is raw stuff right here. Uh, working with a great producer, having fun and challenging myself to learn something new, do something different. And I want to encourage you to do the same. Let's take this journey together. If you like what you heard today, click subscribe below or to the side, however your PC or phone is set up. And follow me on iTunes. Check out my website, drmoanderson.com. And take care. Thanks for listening.